Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? We'll appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell. We so guys are notified every time I release a new video. Always smash a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome down below. Guys, we're going to get into a pretty sweet unboxing for you guys today. It's a soft plastic unboxing from X-Zone. I made this order a while back, and like I said, I haven't gone through it with you guys, so I thought today would be a great opportunity to do that. Just because fishing has been a bit slow for me. And you guys know that I had a fantastic, um, you know, pre-spawn, I guess, fishing season, we'll just say. And uh, like I said, I was, we were catching like four or five pounders every time we went out. But a couple of you guys always like to remind me that those are farm ponds and basically that that didn't count so i guess if you look at it that way i guess i'm not even on the board yet i don't know anyways some guys will whatever we won't even get into that you guys know me it don't matter where you guys fish as long as you're out there having a good time having fun you know not everybody um, has a boat and can get on bigger bodies of water so wherever it is that you're fishing Hopefully you guys are out there having a great time, no matter if it's farm ponds, bigger lakes, whatever. But you guys haven't really seen many fishing videos on this Crestliner uh, this year. One of the last videos I made was on the boat. But as far as fishing videos go, um, I kind of wanted to take a different turn on fishing videos, more or less, you know, talk about what I did during the day and throw some fish clips in there if I made any adjustments. I kind of wanted to take that route for fishing videos but the problem is i'm not catching enough fish you know what i'm saying <laughs> to put out one of those types of videos so like i said i've been having her out a couple days a week just not having really any luck for a good fishing video you know so i don't want to put up a bunch of dinks even though that's fish and that happens i'm kind of waiting for some some better days and you guys know for the most part i'm fishing pretty stained muddy water fishing the spawn um, with that watercolor can be pretty tough. And like I said, it's been pretty tough for me. I was actually, I worked all day Saturday. I didn't get to bed till midnight, basically Sunday morning. Got up at four, was on the lake with a buddy just a couple days ago. And um, I caught, what I catch that day? Caught uh, green sunfish, yellow bass, and a crappie. I didn't, I didn't even catch a bass. I did have, actually I take that back. I did have one blow up on a buzz bait, missed her. Anyways, like I said, I'm getting her out. Kids, I tell you what, kids are out of school now, so I should be having the boat in the water at least three days a week. Really pumped for that. You guys, if you're new to the channel, you may or may not know I do not do this full time. I run um, my dad's business, which is a truck washing business. You know, gosh, we're washing four or 500 trucks a week doing that. I'm trying to juggle that. Family time, YouTube, fishing. It can be a challenge. I don't want to keep rambling on here. I know my true loyal subscribers, I know you guys are hanging with me and you're looking forward to the upcoming videos and I'm looking forward to making them for you guys. Feel free to leave some comments down below with some video suggestions. I do have plenty of things planned. Like I said, now that the kids are out of school, uh, there's no me having to get the kids and all that during my days off. You know, my youngest, um, he goes in around, or he was going in around 8.45, my oldest goes in at 7.30, but then my oldest gets out at 12.15, my youngest gets out at 2. It's like there wasn't enough time to go do anything and then have to be back for one, you know. You know, I'm rambling on here. Enough is enough. Let's get into the video. I just kind of want to give you guys an update on what's kind of going on with fishing. But like I said, kids are out, boats getting wet, we're going to be catching fish. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. We always get those guys that say, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm done. Done with the rant. I love you guys. You guys know who you are. Real fast, I am using the Rail Blaza 600 series. I think that's what it's called. The the uh, camera mount again. Of course, I have it on the Sure Mount track system on the Crestliner. If you guys have a Crestliner or any other boat brand that has this system man you guys definitely need to check out rail blazer like i said no way am i affiliated with them just some awesome accessories and makes it so convenient to be able to record no more tripods it is awesome definitely check them out i'll link that last video down below i can even pop you guys off of the mount here okay take a quick peek here in the storage compartment rocking the edge boxes there i tell you what man this spin rate box it's become one of my favorites. I bet I got 70 spinnerbaits in there. If you guys want to see like 
what's in all these boxes. I have a lot more to load up. Just, you know, whenever I get some time, I'm loading boxes up. If you guys want to see what's in every one of these boxes, we can do that as well. Let me know. But here's what we're going to go over today. I have a huge order from X Zone Lures. Like I said, not a sponsored video. I bought all these. You guys are asking about them. So we made a huge order. If you guys have not seen the Grande Fishing order, I'll link that down below as well. Code TJ81 gets you guys 15% off. Let's go ahead and check out the X Zone Lures. So we have everything laid out. We're going to grab a bait, go over the colors, and I'll tell you guys how I plan to rig them up. Now let's go ahead and start with the 3.25 muscle back finesse craw. This is the bait here that uh, I started using from them. Got it in an MTB box, did really well with it on that day. If you guys remember that video, if not, check it out. I'll link it down below. Well, like I said, great little um, finesse craw here, and I was just using it as a Texas rig. You'll see here the claws float, okay, floating claws there. So like I said, great as a Texas rig, jig trailer i also plan to use it as a little you know ned bait little ned rig bait there so again watermelon red now this is not a color that i normally get really when i'm fishing off this boat when i'm in this boat the water that i'm fishing is normally pretty stained to being muddy uh, this is a color here that i would use at the ponds when the water is fairly clear like i said watermelon red here we'll take one out you guys see we won't take them all out i know you guys know what Watermelon red looks like, which we'll give you guys an idea of the bait. Watermelon red there. Nice plastic too. Nice plastic, good and soft. Okay, watermelon red again. Three point two five muscle back finesse craw. This color here, I'm digging. This one here is called Big Limit. Again, this is going to be more of a clear water color, like a lighter green pumpkin like a pearl purplish back to it. Nice looking color. This one here, Bama Craw, which is basically, you should be able to see that, like a green pumpkin orange. Green pumpkin orange, one of my go-to colors. Of course here, you gotta have a black blue. This one's black blue laminate. So you guys know what that color looks like. Black blue laminate. This one here I'm digging as well. This one's called a Border Craw. Reminds me of that, like, uh, I think it's called like Falcon Lake, Falcon Lake or Lake Falcon, something like that. That color from striking kind of reminds me of that. Nice looking color there. That's all of the 3.25. Okay, for the, I guess the standard size, I believe it's a four inch. It doesn't say on here. Could be a 4.25, we'll just say a four inch. This color here is pretty cool. It's called Perch. Something with orange in it though. Then we got the black blue laminate. It's super soft plastic, man. It could be a 4.25, maybe four. Looks pretty beefy there. Black blue laminate. It's going to be the same deal with this bigger size here. Obviously a bigger Texas rig jig trailer when you're wanting that bigger presence in the water, you're going to go to a bigger craw. Even something like this is bigger size, I'll just throw it out and reel it. Just reel it in, so. But like I said, Texas rig, jig trailer. Um, I like that are just swimming is how I plan to use it. Of course, there's other ways to rig it. That's how I plan to use it. Probably mainly just a bigger Texas rig for me and um, just swim it. June bug, we all know what June bug looks like. We won't take this one out. Gotta have the June bug. Red bug, love a red bug. One thing I've noticed about red bug from one company to another there's different shades of red bug, and I really do like this one here. It's a nice, like deep, dark red. Definitely digging that. That red, I know some guys only use red early spring. For me, fishing that watercolor, red shows up really well. I like red baits basically all year. Houdini, again, more of a clear watercolor. That'd be one that I'll use over there at the ponds. Now this last color here, I'm not really for sure how it's going to work for me. Okay, but this is like one of their more popular colors. Okay, this is the 309. Normally with a watercolor I fish, I mean red bug, June bug, black and blue, Bama Craw, those are my go-to colors. Like I said, this one here is called 309. I do believe it's, like I said, it's one of their more popular colors. Um, I do believe it'll work better in more clear water versus the muddier water that I fish majority of the time. But like I said, super popular color. So I picked it up to play with it. It's a lighter green pumpkin, 
bunch of flake and that bluish belly to it. I do believe that that one right there is one of their like most popular colors. I think everyone, everyone always calls it like the famous like 309. So that'll do it for the Muscleback Cross. Next we have the 4.25 Adrenaline Craw, okay? I plan to use these to swim, just a Texas rig and swim it, possibly a swim jig trailer, and then a buzz bait trailer. I do believe a buzz bait trailer is going to be uh, the first thing that I try them on. We got them in pearl for my white buzz baits, black and blue for my black buzz baits. Then I got this color again, the 309, for my like bluegill, um, we'll just call it bluegill color buzz baits. Normally I get white, black, and blue, and then I get something with the chartreuse and gold blade. In my mind, that just looks like a bluegill. I don't know, <laughs> it is what it is, and I plan to put this color, the 309, on those. It's really the only three color buzz baits that I toss. Black and blue, white, and then some sort of bluegill imitator. Let's go ahead and take out the pearl. Okay. Then we got a couple of the Adrenaline Bug Juniors. I do have the bigger size as well. Picked them up at Carl's a while back. We got a couple of the smaller ones here. Bama Craw Black Blue Flake. You guys know what the Bama Craw looks like. Basically green pumpkin, orange type color. And then of course, black and blue. We know what that looks like, but we'll take one out. Let's give you guys a little peek at the size and the bait. Pretty small. I'm going to use these as a little finesse jig trailer or on a Ned rig. That's my plan for these. Nice and small, like I said, floating claws. It'd be great on a little Ned head or finesse jig trailer. All right, next up we have a couple of the chunks, white, black, and blue. Jig trailer, swim jig trailer. That's my thought for these. Again, floating claws. They should work out fantastic. And these are 3.25. Nice looking chunk there. Got some flanges there on the side. These might kick pretty well. For the most part, a chunk doesn't really have any action, but these might actually kick uh, when you reel it in. We'll see though, play around with it. Okay, we only have one of these. This is the Punisher Punch Crawl. Just like the name states, be great for punching. I don't do a whole lot of punching, but this would be great as a jig trailer as well with the floating claws, looking great. On a Ned head, I love the profile, you know, the look of it. Of course, you're going to be punching be a great bait for that. It doesn't have a, a lot of big, you know, flapping appendages. They're nice and tight to the body, so it'll slide through cover really well. But I do like the overall profile of it. I'm thinking Ned Head Jig Trailer. I'm gonna say maybe, I tell you what, that's me a killer looking Ned Head bait right there, man. But like I said, if you plan to punch, it'd be great for that as well. I'm saying Ned Head is most likely what I'll use uh, that the most for. I love the profile of it. Okay. You notice I'm saying net head on quite a few of these things. That's something that I really want to get into more. I don't do it a lot. Um, it catches a ton of fish. Just with the buddies that I fish with, man, they catch a lot of fish on it. I need to get, get on that for sure. All right, next up we have some tubes. These are the Purple Shiner 3.75. I do have a video on how I fish a tube. I'll link it down below. Loving the color here. I believe we only got one of these. It's a bit stiffer than I imagined it would be. Does not have a solid head. I normally just Texas rig a tube and I hop it back to the boat. You can check that video out, I'll link it down below. I mean, you can make a tube look like pretty much whatever you want, just by changing color and how you work it. But normally, throw them out and I hop them back to the boat. Um, this could be a bit small to Texas rig. I'm sure most guys use a tube hook insert it in the tube. That's not how I fish them. I fish around a lot of cover, a lot of snags. I don't want an open hook. I plan to Texas rig it, but we'll just see how a smaller tube like this works out that way. But that is my plan for it. Okay, but it does not have a solid head. So if you want to use a tube hook like to insert it, you totally can. All right, next up, six inch whiplash shad, which is a fluke style bait. And I'm going to pretty much fish these like I would a fluke, or I'm going to try them on a chatter bait or scrounger head. We have that 309 color that I showed you guys earlier, which for me, I'm, I'm gonna use it more of a bluegill imitator, okay? And then we have the Minnow Magic, which I like more for a shad imitator. Good looking color here, but like I said, scrounger head, just your standard Texas rig fluke, skipping it under docks and all that. 
scrounger head, possibly a chatterbait trailer. Definitely digging that color. Good looking shad imitator right there. Okay, these here are their stick baits. These are called the true center stick and it shows you, I guess, where to rig it, truly centered for perfect, perfect wacky rigging. Okay, the exclusive wacky zone. You guys can see right up there, the wacky zone. You guys can see that. Okay, this one here is a six inch in Bumblebee. Good dirty water color. Feels good, I'm digging it. I guess they got the, I'm assuming, you guys can see the bait here, the main egg sack. Then there's another ring right there. I'm assuming that would be the true center, true center stick. I'm digging it. Again, that is Bumblebee. Should be great for that muddier water that I fish. And that is a six inch. Normally I fish a five inch. And we also have a couple here in five inch Dirty Shad and Purple Shiner, okay? Digging those. And for the stick baits, guys, you know, weightless Texas rig or with a weight, wacky rig for sure. And I'm sure I may even try maybe cutting one of these down and using them on a net head as well. So we had the six inch in Bumblebee, then we got five inch Purple Shiner and Dirty Shad. I'm loving that Purple Shiner. That's the same color that we had in the uh the tube there and here's the dirty shad you guys haven't seen this color yet oh i'm loving that too dirty shad all right next we have the three inch ned zone i did pick up some of these before at carl's we have them in bass candy and big limit i believe i showed you guys big limit earlier you guys already seen that color okay and here is the bass candy comes in a little clamshell deal here which is nice i'm digging that again probably more of a clear water color but i'm digging it hopefully you guys can see these pretty good definitely going to be killer on a ned head that's what i plan to use it for a little ned rig all right next up we have the 3.25 finesse slammer these look pretty similar to uh, the PTL hammer shads that I used to use years ago. Be honest, guys, I still use Power Team Lure stuff as well. Love the craw derv. Still one of my go-to um, finesse craws. Two different colors here. One to mimic a shad. Purple shiner and then a bluegill here with the war mouth. Okay, we'll take out the, the war mouth here. It says on the package there, hot drop shot bait. So obviously drop shot, Ned head. Now, I used to use the hammer shads. They were awesome just to give yourself a little bit of bulk on your spinner baits, chatterbait trailer. These are a bit small for that. So I'm going to say, you know, drop shot like it says, or just a killer little Ned rig bait, I bet, man. I bet that's going to be killer on a Ned head. I'm not a big drop shotter. I'll try it on a drop shot. But man, I bet that is just awesome on a little nethead. Good looking little bluegill imitator right there, man. All right, next up, let's go with the Deception Worm. These are a six inch floating worm again. I plan to use these for the floating worm rig, basically a weightless worm or a shaky head. Of course, you can Texas rig these as well, but I plan to, uh, like I said, shaky head or the floating worm. Plum and Bass Candy, you have already seen. The Bass Candy in another bait. So let's go ahead and take out the plum. I gotta say guys, their plastic looks really, really good. You don't see any little defects in them. I mean, it's super nice plastic. Loving that color, plum. Looks like the tail's got like a few little holes in it. Maybe that helps it float up or air bubbles or something like that. But yeah, nice looking, basically it's a trick worm. Nice looking little trick worm there. Floating worm. Okay, next we have the six inch MB Fat Finesse Worm. Color is Southern Dip. I'm not sure if that's showing up for you guys, like it's showing up for me, but when the sun's coming to the garage here, when that worm is like glowing purple, it's awesome looking. Definitely shaky head is my plan for this one. That color is killer. Like I said, I'm not sure it's showing up for you guys, like I'm seeing it, but it is glowing purple when that sun hits it. That is awesome. Definitely shaky head for me right there, man. Floating finesse worm. That could be my favorite color so far that I've seen 
from Exxon. Then we got, we got one pack of these. These are the MB Hog Hunter Red Bug. Just a big creature bait, Texas rigged, Carolina rigged. Pretty slick. Yeah, I love the Red Bug. Big creature bait like this, even on a shaky head, would be good. But something like this size, this much bulk to it, a lot of action, great summertime bait. Yep, I'm digging that. Most likely just a big uh, Texas rig. Speaking of summertime fishing, we got 11 inch Blitzworm, Red Bug and Red Shad. We've already seen the Red Bug and other baits. Red Shad, one of my go-to colors, fishing that muddier water. You know, Texas rig, summertime. That's my plan for this one right here. Give them big girls a big meal. Oh yeah, I'm digging that, man. They killed the red shad too. I've seen some red shad that I don't like. And this one here, man, looks killer. That'll show up really, really well in that muddy water. Most likely I'll just put like a five or six aught round bent offset in there, man. Texas rigged. Some big old summer bass, boys. All we got left is the swim baits. And we have a few different sizes here. These are the 3.5 mini swammer. Okay, this one is called chartreuse pearl. You should know what a little chartreuse pearl looks like. We won't take that one out. Chartreuse pearl. This size, 3.5. Most likely an underspin, I'll put it on underspin, or maybe a smaller swim jig trailer is what I personally would do with a 3.5. Most likely though, underspin. Okay, we got it in the chartreuse pearl, and then electric shad. Electric shad type color. Type color, it's called electric shad. It's not an electric shad type color, it's electric shad. And then we move up to the four inch Four inch, I also use as a um, swim bait for an underspin, spinner bait trailer when I'm looking for a little bit of lift. I don't usually like boot tails as chatter bait trailers. I'll rig this a standalone as well with a belly weighted swim bait hook. Color is Dirty Shad, which we had that in the, the what was that called? The True Center Stick. So you guys have already seen that color there. So Dirty Shad, digging that for sure. And then we got Tennessee Shad. Take one of these out for you guys. And then last up, we have the, the big boys. These ones are the 5.5 Mega Swammer. Color is bluegill. That's a big bait. Definitely a five or six aught swim bait hook for sure. Yeah, that'll be a standalone for me. Most likely I'll put either a five to six aught, you know, mustad, belly weighted swim bait hook. Most likely I'm thinking six aught. Probably six aught for sure. That's a big bait. So the 3.5 and the four inch mainly are going to be underspin or trailers. Um, even the four inch though I will rig standalone, but this guy right here is definitely for me a standalone. Like I said, five to six aught belly weighted swim bait hook and that color there is the bluegill and we got that uh purple shiner that's an awesome color man purple shiner very nice and guys that should wrap up the order i do believe i dang near got everything on the website like i said you guys are asking about it i put the order in we're gonna play around with these baits all season I'll kind of let you guys know my thoughts on them as I'm using them. So anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. If you guys have used the X-Zone products, let me know your favorite down below or what your favorite maybe bait is that you're looking forward to me fishing with and let you guys know my thoughts on. So anyways, guys, you guys are awesome. Love you guys. Smash the thumbs up. Comments down below. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys on the next one.